Well, we have Monday Night Thunder at the Paycom Center tonight. OKC's extended homestand is now winding down. Only two games left before they head back out west for a couple of games. And tonight, the Thunder welcomes the Atlanta Hawks. And our Thunder reporter, Steve McGeehee, joining us now from the Paycom Center with more. The last two home games have been tense, nerve-wracking, but ended up being two narrow defeats for the Oklahoma City Thunder. In comes Atlanta, led by Norman native Trey Young, and oh, by the way, they've won four games in a row. The Hawks are on their third different head coach since Thunder head coach Mark Dagnall took over for Billy Donovan back in 2020. OKC's rising head coach finished second in the Coach of the Year honors just one season ago, and some national NBA experts believe he will win NBA Coach of the Year this season. He has a knack for relating to his players, getting his point across, and getting the most out of his players. You can see that on the court and the players love his approach. I think Mark is, is really good at those type of things. He's a good coach. Um, he knows how to bond with players and how to talk to certain players, and he gives you the belief in yourself, but I think Mark's really good in that way. The Thunder is currently 3-3 three and three heading into tonight. Could easily be 5-1. and one. Oklahoma City's all-star Shea Gildas Alexander missed the last game against Golden State with a sprained knee. On Sunday, he was listed as out for tonight's game. Now he is questionable. An update on SGA coming up at 6 o'clock. From Paycom Center, Steve McGeehee, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.